Okay, so as we all know that BAD has been released into the AI world to just compete with ChatGPT, Bing AI and cloud services okay, by Google. At least BAD is in to make a difference to a different kind of front to respond to different kind of prompts. At the moment, it is at the experimental stage and it's available in only two countries, in the United States and in the UK. So if you are not in those countries, you should have to wait for your turn to get into BAD and try it. So there's a lot going on in this very AI and I decided in this video, I'm going to share with you my top 10 tips and tricks I think you should know about BAD. Okay, that are very, very interesting and important. So the first thing you need to know is that BAD is not as bad as people used to think because the initial impression was that it is very bad it gives a lot of bad responses and so on there are lots of tweets that uh, people have shared in, according to their experience uh, by well prompting bad and how bad it has responded but what i noticed is over time about two one or two weeks into the ai world the google continued to train bad based on those, some, of, some of those responses that it gave. And recently I tried to access it and give it similar points and I was surprised to see tremendous improvement. In fact, excellence in what BAD can do. Because to my surprise, it responded to, the, to those questions that it didn't respond correctly at the beginning, responded to them very perfectly at this stage, which means that Google is still working on that BAD uh, right now it's at the experimental stage but they are doing quite a lot to improve it so in this tutorial we'll try to look at the some of its benefits some of the areas that we need to pay attention to to understand bad clearly so the first thing that i want you to understand is that bad gives us real-time data okay when compared to chat gpt and even gpt4 which are limited to 2021 data anything after 2021 you will not find it in gpt 3.5 or gpt 4 but bad is up to date okay bad can give you up to date information based on what you prompt so for example if i should go ahead and prompt it with bad can you tell me the current weather in abuja nigeria today and it's going to respond perfectly so let's try that Okay, can you give me the current weather in Abuja, Nigeria today? Let's see. And you can see the current weather in Abuja, Nigeria is 90 degrees Fahrenheit, mostly cloudy, 30% chance of rain tonight. Okay, you can see, and a 40% chance of rain tomorrow. The humidity is 72% and the wind is blowing from the west southwest at 5 to 10 mph. I think this is exactly correct because I googled this this morning and it is correct. Okay, And so this is one of the key advantages that Google Bard has, has over ChatGPT and even GPT-4. If you ask GPT-4 GPT this question or GPT-3.5 this question, it's not going to give you a correct answer. Let's give it a try and see. Okay, so let's prompt it. For your information, I'm using um, my chat GPT on that Poi. Poi is a very interesting website. So if you are using GPT 3.5, you may be receiving some errors at some point. But if you are using it on that Poi, all of the responses are going to be direct and perfect and straightforward. And there's no any delay. And it's going to give you perfect results, just like the way it's going to give you on the normal uh, platform here. Okay, it's the same thing. Okay, only that I prefer to run it here. So if you want to go ahead and give it a try, you can just go to Koi.com. Just create an account, it's free, and you can have access to all of these. Dragonfly, ChatGPT, Cloud Instant, Cloud Plus, GPT-4. You can try all that from here. And it's very, very nice. And even the arrangement, you'll like it. So let's go on. Uh, but can you give me the current weather in in Abuja, Nigeria? But this is not bad. This is ChatGPT. So delete this. Can you give me the current weather in Abuja, Nigeria? So let's see. And as you can see, it quickly say, I'm sorry, but, uh, but as an AI language model, I don't have real-time access to current weather information. 
But there, however, you can easily find the current weather information in Abuja, Nigeria by doing a quick online search or checking a reliable weather, web, weather website or app. So it quickly desists that it cannot give real-time data. And that is very, very understandable. So this is one of the advantages that BAD has. It gives you real-time data, okay? You can, see, you can see that by this evidence. But another thing I quickly went to do is I tried to compare this also response with this response also with the Bing AI and see because Bing also is a chatbot. Okay, Microsoft has just in invented their own, but this one also gives real time data. So in Bing, you can still find the same thing. So when you want to get access to Bing, you can follow, you can also be on the waiting list. And once you get access, you can approach it as however you want. So Bing can also give you the real-time data. Right now, I said you can come to bing.com uh, forward slash chat and it will bring you over here. And you can prompt it the same way. Can you give me the weather in Abuja, Nigeria today? And you see it's going to give you, even though it takes a little bit of time. So it takes time to think a little bit, but it gives most of the information that we need. Okay, you can see this is the, yeah, at the moment, this is it. And the sky is cloudy and clear. And these are even the data okay you can see even based on the timing as well as uh, previous it has forecasted the, the data okay so it gives us more information than google bad but all in all we know that this one also gives but bing ai also gives real-time data now the next thing that i want to share with you as regards the capabilities or the tips on how to use bad is the fact that it is getting updated okay recently like i talked about there was a series of prompts that people gave and they shared it on twitter how bad the bad responded okay so let me give you an example i just tried google bad if i were sam altman uh, i would be feeling very concerned right now so let's say the first two months of the year are february january and february what are the other months of the year? This is a prompt that this guy, Tamar Golan, gave it. And take a look at the response. He quickly said January, February, Marwari, February, Merwari, uh, January, or the about. And this is very, very wrong and embarrassing. So I tried to see after that time, because this one was given some about two weeks ago. So I tried to see, I prompt it with the same response and see if you can give us the yeah, whether it has improved or not. So let's see that particular response. So I promised the first two months of the year are January and February. What are the remaining months of the year? Okay, so this is my question. And then I quickly send. Now you can see that in the first attempt, it gives us the remaining months of the year are March, April, May, June, July, August, to December. And this is exceptionally correct, which means that it is evident that Google Bad is really undergoing series of training and it's improving gradually, gradually. You can see this is an evidence from that tweet. It was cons uh, concluded that Bad was extremely bad in terms of its responses, but take a look at how it has improved and it now get the answer correctly so this is an evidence that bad is still uh, not at, as bad as people think so there is evidence of continuous improvement in its capabilities in its creativity in its reasoning skills okay so the next thing that i want to give a prompt is bad can give you charts results in charts maybe tabulated formats which is not possible in other ai tools like chat gpt okay so let's give it a simple prompt and let's see how it's going to give us results in chat so let's say can you give us a comparison of sony zve10 and sony zv one cameras make it in tabular form tabular form okay so let's let's say i prompt you can you give me a comparison a comparison of sony zv e10 and sony zv1 cameras make it in tabular form so let's see if it's going to give us this response and you can see perfectly it gives us a chart or containing the features okay containing the camera zv e10 and then containing the camera zv zv1 and all their features you can see even in pricing it gave us the pricing perfectly you can see it gave us the dimensions the weights the heights the, the battery 
live and continuous shooting video quality and iso auto focus resolution and even sensor so you can see that this is exceptionally brilliant and it gives us the whole thing perfectly so for me and you if you want to use this data you can just go ahead and kick start your screenshotting and you can just go ahead and just screenshot it and add it to your presentation for example if you are interested in giving a presentation about the comparison of these two cameras zve1 and zv1 and zve10 you can just go ahead and take a screenshot of it and you can just go ahead and paste it in your microsoft word or in your microsoft powerpoint slide to make your presentation you can see you can just go ahead and take a screenshot and you can paste it in your microsoft powerpoint to, to continue with that but when you ask chat gpt about this one it's not going to give you this much detail and it's in this chat format or tabulated format but uh, other ai tools like uh, bing ai can give you also similar results and can even give you in a better way okay but i think when it comes to giving details and the speed you can see we can prompt Bing AI also with the same question and you'll be surprised and amazed by how it's going to answer it very perfectly. All right, you can see one thing with just with Bing AI is that it's a bit a little bit slower. Okay, it's a bit slow in terms of the in terms of how it is being programmed. It's a bit slow, but it's also very, very effective. As you can see, it's still writing the details. Okay, and it's picked in some of the key key features that we so in google bad okay so i to search auto focus iso range sensor size and even video resolution it gives in the details these are two ai two different ai tools but they picked virtually the same thing when doing the comparison only that i think bad gave more details as regards these features okay uh, battery life and all that bad gives more details as you can see Picking autofocus, ISO, video, continuous shooting, battery life, weight, dimensions, and even price. You went on to give price, which is to show you how updated um, BAD is. So, this is the third one. The fourth point that I'm, that I'm interested in giving you is the fact that BAD has the ability to give you multiple drafts. When it gives you a result, it's not the end of it all. It can give you multiple drafts. So, when you want to see more results, you can come over here. You can click and you'll be able to see multiple drafts. This is draft one, this is draft two, and this is draft three. Okay, and both of them, the three of them in most cases are different. Some cases you can find them to be the same, but in most cases they are different results. So let's give it a simple prompt and let's see if it's going to give us. And now you can see this is draft two, okay, and draft two is longer. Okay, containing more details and even at the end you say as you can see sony zv e10 and sony zv are both very capable cameras gives in this conclusion uh, the zv e10 has a few advantages over the zv1 including a larger sensor interchangeable lenses and five axes in body in, in body stabilization okay however zv e1 zv1 is smaller and lighter and it has a fixed lens that is optimized for vlogging uh, ultimately the best camera for you to depend on your individual needs and preferences so this is very very nice and it captured this in uh, draft 2 you can see also in draft 3 it gives him more information you can see it gives him more detail so in other words draft 1 draft 2 draft 3 is just an acronym for the uh, short answer medium answer and large answer maybe google bad can google can take in this and maybe try to adjust the draft to be short long and medium and large long answer so this is very very interesting the fact that it has the ability to use the various drafts as answers so you can be able to visualize and see which one actually works for you the best and you can just go ahead and screenshot it or copy it into your presentation or the above now the fifth point that i want to share with you is the fact that bad has the ability to rewrite paragraphs okay if you have any paragraph that you would think is good or you want to use it bad can help you to rewrite it in another language or in a simpler language for example let's say we copy this entire text okay we copy it and we ask bad to rewrite this in in a summarized form maybe even giving it more details like to use it summarize this in 20 words in 50 words okay so we write these paragraphs in 50 words and we just paste in 
and we just paste in these three paragraphs that we've copied and hit on enter and let's see what comes up from back and you can see it just quickly make it in a summary form sony zv10 and zv1 are both great vloggers uh, vlogging cameras with 4k video articulating touch screen stabilization but then it quickly says zv10 has a larger sensor for better image quality and low quality and low light performance but the zv1 is smaller and lighter and it just quickly compressed everything in 50 words and you can see how perfect it just does that, that it does that and even the timing very fast and very perfect i think most of the other features most of the other chatbots can do the same but the fact that uh, Bard does it very very fast and got it correctly is a plus on Bard side. So this is a tip you should know. You can tweak it with anything and ask it to rewrite given text no matter how long it is and it's going to shorten it and give you specific answer based on how you prompt it. Okay, so another thing you should know is that Bard can give you answers to mathematical problems. Earlier on, Bard is really bad at mathematics but right now it is being updated and it's being trained to answer math questions. Take a look at this very complex problem, mathematical problem that, mad, that Bard answer very very fast and he got the answer correctly. A farming field can be plowed by six tractors in four days. When six tractors work together, each of them plows 120 hectares a day. If two of the tractors were moved to another field, then the remaining four tractors could plow the same field in five days. How many hectares a day would one tractor plow then? So this is quite complex and it's very, very tricky. But let's see how bad is going to answer this question. And you can see how fast it quickly answered. In four days, six tractors could plow for 720 hectares. And if a tractor could plow this much, it gives us a day. So the answer is 144. And that is very, very correct. So this is this is going to show you that BAD is really good at mathematics. Okay? And it gets improved gradually over time. So another thing you should pay attention to is BAD can correct grammar and spelling mistake in any kind of write-up or text that you prompt it with. If you have an issue with your write-up or you've written your document or your paper and you want BAD to cross-check and check the grammar and spelling mistakes, you can easily prompt it and it's going to give you that answer. It has that capability. So take a look at this example. In this example, we say BAD will integrate, will be integrate. I made this mistake intentionally, will be integrated. It's supposed to be will be integrated. I make it will be, will, will be integrate with Google Chrome to process complex information. Take a look at the information. This is very wrong. I replace T with S and with this, this is a second mistake. And then I put in a full stop here quickly. So you can quickly understand. I put a full stop here. This is a mistake. And then I put another full stop here. This is also another mistake. So let's see if BAD can help us to correct this sentence. This very sentence within it once we prompt it. So I ask it, can you rewrite this text correcting the grammar? Okay, so I put the text in columns. Okay, BAD will be will be integrated with Google Chrome to process complex information and multiple perfect uh, perspectives into easy to digest formats. So you can quickly you can see the mistakes I have, as I have explained. But then let's see whether BAD can really rewrite and correct the grammar here. You can see it said sure. Here is the corrected text. Okay, BAD will be integrated. You see now it picked in and it gives us integrated, which is correct. And into uh, this complex information, and you can see the information is also spelled correctly. And you can see it has removed that full stop that we have. And now our sentence is correct. I have made the following changes. So it has even went on to tell you that I have made the following changes. I have changed the integrate to integrated. I have added a comma after the complex information and separate the two independent clauses. I've added a period after formats to end the sentences and I have capitalized BAD. I have capitalized Google and I have capitalized Chrome because it's a proper noun. Okay, these are proper noun and I've added a period after web to end the sentences. I hope this is helpful. So this is exceptionally helpful because you could see that the sentence on its own has been rewritten. Okay, the next thing you should know is that BAD incorporated the Google it feature after at the end of all of its prompts. When you ask BAD a question, it gives you the response. And then at the end of it, you have this Google it feature at the end of every response, which means 
If you are not certain and comfortable with what you have as a prompt or as an answer to your prompt, you can easily link this and Google it somewhere else and have your answer answered. You can link it up to the Google platform and go ahead and open pages and see and cross check to confirm your answers. Okay. So for example, if I ask it to give me what is a noun and it prompted this answer to me that this is a noun and you have the Google it feature down here. If I'm not comfortable with the answer it gave me, even citing some of the examples that I may, be, I may need to understand what a noun is. If I'm not comfortable with this, I can always come down here and use the Google it feature and click to uh, search for it. Okay. You can see, you can now search for, you can now search for it. It, 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 once you click, you can just it will pop up and take you to the Google platform and you will see the results of what you are looking for. So this is a very good feature and you can see now it will be linked to Google platform and now you can do most of your search and everything from here. So this is a very good feature I think Google Bad has incorporated to at least increase the level of trust that people has as regards what it gave them and to be able to have an alternative to what you see as a result of a prompt and to verify your facts by going beyond the board to open up pages and see how you can verify your results. So this is a very fantastic feature. Anytime you make a prompt and you're not starting you're comfortable, you can just Google it to find out more information or to cross check and verify what BAD has given you. So the last tip for today is I noticed that BAD give responses, sometimes subjective responses and refuse to mislead people and even give an open ended answer. So take a look at this prompt. I, I ask it this question and take a look at the kind of answer it gave me. What is the most important moment in American history? This is an open ended question. So let's see how bad it's going to respond to this. And you can see now it responded very nicely. Say there are many important moments in American history, but perhaps the most important one was the signing of the Declaration of Independence on July 4, 1976. This document is declared. So you see now it refused to give you that concretely this is the most important but you say perhaps this one you make a selection but then look at the next sentence next paragraph you say other important moments in american history include now it gives you other important moments but maybe the one that it picked is based on the uh, citations and all that within the documentation it picked in that because of maybe uh, citations but then take a look at the concluding part of this which is the most interesting part of it Ultimately, the most important moment in American history is a matter of opinion. You see, this is open-ended and it just gives you that this is subjective and it's based on individual. Okay. However, the sign of the declaration of this is undoubtedly one of the most important events in American history. It's a moment that all Americans should celebrate. Okay, so I think I like this answer and it shows that BAD is being very, very careful in its responses not to give a tight or very objective answer to subjective questions. So I think these are my top 10 tips and tricks that you should know about BAD and when interacting with it so you can have a better understanding and better results when next to interact with BAD. Take note that this BAD is, it can display accurate, inaccurate information at the moment it is at the research stage and it's available in only English language and it's available in only two countries and it's still undergoing a series of trainings be better to become a better chatbot. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you do, remember to give this video a thumbs up. That's going to mean a lot to me. And try to hit the subscribe and notification buttons to stay connected to this channel for more and more videos like this. Now, if you are new to BAD and you've not known the basics of BAD, I will link this video about Google BAD that I have tried up here so try to go through it to understand bad how to register and uh, join the waitlist and when you get access how to do some basic prompts and see the best of bad okay so see you around thank you for watching and i'll see you around bye